Okay, so here it is. Um, unboxing of Seymour Duncan JB Rails. It's a part seven string. And I will install this one here in my uh, Balagir iPhone 7. So, yeah, I need to unbox this one uh, on the uh, Seymour Duncan website. It says 21.36k ohms DC resistance, so we'll check that one out also. So, just bear with me. Okay, so here it is. And this is the seven string version of the JB rail. Oh, look at that one. Nice. So and that's it. That will look good. Oh, I guess. So I will make that. Okay. So hold on I'm going to check the uh, DC resistance of this actual pickup so yeah we're going to test the uh, DC resistance now here using my um, <coughs> multimeter so that's my multimeter and this is the um, the black will be the hot then green and bare will be combining and then red and white will be the coil splitting so just bear with me so here it is for the DC resistance okay this is Twenty point seventy four, seventy three, seventy two, and for the coil split, it will be ten point thirty eight, ten point forty. For again, for the uh, twenty point seventy six, seventy five, that's for the uh, whole humbucker, and for the coil split. 10.34 that's the DC resistance of Seymour Duncan JB rails um, for 7 string so hang on to it I'll just install this one and be back on the next video Okay, so I'm gonna read again the um, Seymour Duncan JB Rails for 7 string. So I don't know if I made a mistake earlier, but I'm pretty sure this is now the DC resistance of this one 21.2324. And for the split coil, 10.75 yeah ranging from that but I don't know if I made a mistake but it looks like 21.20 
and the split coil is 10.69 68 so that's pretty hot so I'm going to uh, solder it now and give you guys an update again on my third video for the Seymour Duncan JB Rails.